So, you know, as we kind of wrap up here, is there uh, anything that you kind of really want to address about, you know, HIV and AIDS and maybe even the Ryan White program that we didn't quite get to cover yet? Um, well, I, I wanted to mention Ryan White himself. Um, I think that unfortunately, a lot of people nowadays don't really know who Ryan White was. I'm going to be um, honest. I'm I'm that person. Uh, you no. know, I, I'm right there along with him. Yeah. So um, the Ryan White program is a federally funded um, legislative grant program. Um, Hudson Headwaters has actually had this grant program for over 20 years, I think now. And it's been around since 1990, I believe. Um, and so Ryan White was actually a very young person, 13 years old in the 80s, who was diagnosed with HIV and that he was infected by a blood transfusion. He was a hemophiliac. And he wound up, you know, kind of one of the first people where we realized, oh, you can get HIV different ways. You know, you you can be, you know, a young person. You can you're maybe you're not gay. You're you know all these different things, and he wound up becoming kind of a face and voice for people living with HIV, an advocate. And he spent his about five years acting as an advocate. Um, he did pass away at 18 um, because we did not have any. Thing that we could really treat with um, but he made an incredible impact and um, we uh, the federal government did pass this care act in his name and this legislation is helps people living with HIV and exists in every single state in the country mm -hmm. so um, people who do have HIV can seek out Ryan White programs there's different parts and different groups that do different types of things but our Ryan White program does do early intervention. Um, and we do um, currently have about 130 patients we work with. And um, some of whom I've worked with my entire 10 years. And, um, you know, so we are here for our patients, their families, um, people who are out there who just want testing or information or education. And um, we also do a lot of education out in the community and, uh, so we're here for anything anyone needs. We also do have hepatitis C testing while we're out there in the world. And that's a big thing, as you know, that um, it is often uh, goes hand in hand with increase in drug use, mm -hmm. which is a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing we could talk about another day. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, uh, with, with uh, you know, I'm sure there's, oh, goodness, I forget the month, but I know there is an STI, STD prevention month uh, that is going to be coming up here, I believe, sometime soon. I want to say February, March, right around there, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, but, you know, obviously, I'm sure we'll probably have to bring you guys back on. <laughs>